Bellrite has a pretty extensive priority system for workers in your settlement in order to get things done, but does it seem like workers aren't always doing what you want them to? Let's look at priorities and how to keep workers working and get them to do what you want them to do. Priorities. What are priorities? Priorities determine the importance of a task to a worker, a workstation, and the settlement overall. When you're setting priorities, one is always highest, meaning the most important and should be done first, if possible. There are essentially two different priority systems in Bellwright, the priority for a worker and the priority for a workstation. If you set a worker's task to priority one, they will do that task first whenever possible. If you set a station to priority one, then every villager will take care of that station first before anything else when they can. Remember, a lot of them, only one person can do it at a time. And note that when they can is important here. And we'll go over troubleshooting issues in a bit of what could be preventing them from doing what you want. The worker that is priority one on a priority one station will always be taken into account first before any other villagers and then the rest of them operate down the line. For example, if your research station is set to priority one and you have two workers, let's call them Tal and Vinny, who are individually set to one for research, then either one of the workers can do the research depending on who gets there first. But if Tal is set to research one and Vinny is set to research two, then Tal will always do the research unless he's unable to. Perhaps he fell in battle, as he is wont to do, or was left halfway across the map and is walking home. In this case, Vinny will step up to do it. So basically, you have a priority that's for everyone based on the workstation, and then the personal priority for when it's a measure between individual workers. Priority of tasks for workers. Each worker has their own individual level of skills for each type of task and a limit on how high that skill can develop. You can see these when you hire them and on their attributes screen. However, the most efficient way to assign priorities is to hit N to go to the settlement screen and look at the population tab. You can then scroll over each person's name and get a pop out on the side to show their skill levels right next to where you can adjust them. This is also a good way to get an overview of where certain tasks may need someone assigned a higher priority to it. If you're lacking wood and have no one set to priority one for wood chopping, you can change that here. You can also scroll through the names and see who would be best to assign that task to. Wood cutting is a form of harvesting, so if you assign someone with a harvesting skill of one out of four versus someone with four out of six, then you know who will be most productive at that task. Delivery, the little chest icon, is an important task that is often overlooked. The delivery task has to do with taking items from resource camps and putting them where they need to be in storage or to be used in a crafting station. Not only does it keep you more organized, but it also helps workers be able to complete their tasks more efficiently when they need resources. If it's in storage right beside the workstation, or in another workstation on the other side of camp will make a difference, especially if they have to keep walking in circles to get supplies. Some might say this is a good solitary role for a beggar in a very busy settlement, if you're into that sort of thing. You can also turn off a job for someone by setting it to zero to tell them stay away from that. Priority of tasks for workstations. When you build a new workstation, remember to set its priority rather than leaving them all at default of five. I always keep the research desk at priority one. Choose which workstations need to have the highest and lowest priority in the village overall. For example, I usually keep logging very high because wood is needed for everything. However, if the situation calls for it, I may raise foraging or cooking higher right before winter. You should revisit your workstation priorities regularly to make sure that they are best for your current situation and that you haven't forgotten to switch something back. Remember that you don't have to walk to each station. Simply hit N for settlement management and then go to the buildings tab. You can also move things up or down on the list within a workstation as a type of priority for the order that you'd like them to be done in if resources are available. 
So, if they are crafting five rabbit traps and you want a sword now, move the sword above the traps and make sure they have the materials to craft it. You can also set priorities of chests, stockpiles, and all storages. This will increase how efficient workers are at getting things put where they need to be. If you have filters set in storage, make sure that your workers have delivery priorities set a bit higher and they should automatically sort out all of the storage or have a dedicated delivery person. You can use duplicates of orders and workstations to be more efficient. For example, in the foraging camp, you can have, for example, 10 flax at priority level one, farther down the list of things, then 30 flax at priority level five. This type of order makes sure that you always keep the minimum that you need on hand, but then lets the workers do other things that are just as important. When the important sets are done, then they will go and get the extras you'd like to keep on hand if there's time without bogging down the whole foraging system with getting all 40 of those flax first. What most people miss. The biggest thing people miss with priorities is that you can also combine them with outposts. So for instance, you can set a cooking pot as your own personal cooking pot by setting the building, because each structure is considered a building, to a separate outpost. I call mine Christie's private stuff and that will essentially make it invisible to workers so you can do all your own cooking manually at that cook pot without any interference. Or you can use this to turn a workstation off for now. Of course, you can set the smoking fire pit to zero priority to ask them to stop making smoked mushrooms, please. You can also change the fire pit to be a part of your private outpost, which none of them are assigned to, and so that smoking fire pit is now dead to them. This works great for storage and everything too, if you don't want workers to touch something. Furthermore, you can set up the delivery system as a way to move resources back and forth between your outposts, so you can do this with your own personal stash in a way that's less invasive and more on a delivery schedule rather than getting your people to go do it directly. Like, I want my own fish stew. I want it every day, and I want it to stay good longer because it's in a stackable storage rather than that private chest in my tent. So I make a chest, a storage chest, my own private outpost, and I schedule deliveries of two fish stew to it every day. Thank you very much. How to keep workers working. Here are some things that you should do to make sure that your workers have enough to do and keep working. Top up most items at all workstations, including crafting benches, rather than doing one-offs. Most things you'll want to keep a minimum on hand, and remember to increase this as you need. Like, I always increase the number of axes on hand by one every time I hire a new person. Priorities can be static, or fluid depending on the situation, such as a season or a new technology unlocked, which will need certain resources. So change priorities depending on what you need at that time. However, if you change a priority for a specific situation, remember to change it back again after that has passed. Otherwise, you may be yelling at all your workers in the spring for not foraging when you've moved them all to woodcutting. On your settlement page, Go to buildings, and the top left should be a building filter. All production, housing, other. If you select other, then you can see the things that are under construction. You can then set the priority of whatever you want built first or very quickly to one, and it will get done as long as you have the resources and a villager whose priority allows it. The maximum number of workers on a building at a time is three. Make sure that they have food at all times. A common mistake is not to make cooking one of the higher priorities in the settlement, especially in the beginning. An army wins on its stomach, so don't underestimate this resource. Sometimes you don't need to change their priority to get something done quickly. Make someone a companion and you can get them or a group of them to do something quickly for you by using E commands. Like, y'all come grab all this sage real quick for bandages and then dismiss them to go back to being workers again. Always make sure that there's something set up for them to be working on before you go off on an adventure. Make sure that there's something there ready to be built. Make sure that there is something there ready to be researched. 
and that they're gathering resources. But remember, other than placing down where you want something to be built, most of the things that you're going to be asking them to do, you can manage from the settlement tab while you're out in the world doing things. So you don't have to wait to get home to make changes to your settlement or to your villagers. Troubleshooting. Here are some common things to check for if your workers don't seem to be doing what they're supposed to. Channel members of YouTube or Patreon can find a troubleshooting checklist on the YouTube community tab or on the Patreon website. Thanks for all your support, guys. Check to see if you've met the requested amount of materials. Sometimes we top something up at a certain number and then we end up needing more later and we're like, why aren't they getting any more? without remembering, oh yeah, I set that at 20 and now I need 100. When you're looking in a workstation at what level you want to set it at, it can show you in parentheses to the side or in a separate column how much is currently in stock. And you can also look in your settlement tab at what you have in storage overall. Have you gathered all of the resources in range? Working camps have a pretty big range about them of how far they'll go to get resources, but there is a limit to it. And if they have picked up all of the copper off the ground there or picked all of the river reeds at the lake and there's nothing else in range, then they can't get any more. If they've mined all the ore, you may need to move your mining outpost. If they keep walking away, is there a campfire or other item somewhere far away that they're trying to build or fill that is taking them far away? You can turn its priority off or delete it or change it to a separate outpost. If there is something that you do want done, is it assigned at the right outpost or a settlement? For example, I have a Minington outpost where I had built a stockpile and I wanted the guy that lived at Minington to build a stockpile, but he wouldn't do it. And then people from my village started walking halfway across the map to build this stockpile. So in my mind, when I put the stockpile blueprint down, that was part of mining 10 because it was built right there. But you can build anywhere on the map and it's part of your settlement unless you change it. So even though I already had part of mining 10 built there and assigned to mining 10, when I put the blueprint down for that stockpile, it was part of my settlement. So I needed to go into the buildings menu and look at what was under construction and change that blueprint to be part of the Minington Outpost for the guy from the Minington Outpost to build it and not have my other villagers walking halfway across the world. Have you set a request for a certain resource too high and so it's taking up all their time? For example, 100 flax is a first line request on a forager with a forager priority level of one or two. It may take a long time to get that many and so other things aren't getting done in the meantime. If you're at tier two or above, check to see if the task needs a skilled tradesperson and make sure the worker is the correct profession to do the research or to do the work. Did you have something assigned to only one person and that person is currently knocked out or has been killed? Did you change something for a specific reason and forget to turn it back? Like did you increase foraging for mushrooms right before winter but now it's spring and all they're doing is gathering mushrooms? Do you have the supplies? Like does more thatch need to be made in order to finish a building? Do you need to up requests for a resource due to a change in your settlement? Like more people or a new technology unlocked? Do they have the tool they need? If it's broken, do they have the resources and ability to repair it? It's good to keep tools topped up to have a backup, but if they don't have the resources to repair it, then eventually they will all be broken and work will stall. PSA here, notice red. Anywhere when you're looking in the menus and the screens, if something is red, I don't know how many times I've seen people overlook it. If something is red, then something is wrong. It's a warning, it's a danger. Something's broken, something's missing. It's trying to get your attention. It's in red for a reason. And do you need to hire more people? If they can't get to everything, then it can't get done. It may be time to get more help. If you like Get to the Point guides, consider free subscribing. Until next time, happy gaming.